As for the educational path for Prince George, the eldest son of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, a tug of war seems to be unfolding between the traditional choice of Eton, a boarding school long associated with the British aristocracy, and co-educational alternatives like Oundle School or Marlborough College, the latter being the Duchess's alma mater. But the royal decision is not just about the name of the school. It's a reflection of a broader conversation about tradition, values, and modern educational needs. It's about navigating the changing dynamics of social status and the desire for a more down-to-earth upbringing for children in British aristocracy and royalty. This ongoing deliberation reflects not just personal values of the royal couple, but also the evolving societal views on wealth, education, and upbringing. Marlborough College, the Duchess's alma mater, has been a favored institution among the British elite. Known for its rich history and tradition, it has long been a beacon of prestige and quality education. But reputation is a double-edged sword. As the college's popularity has surrogate among the ultra-rich, so too have perceptions of it being flashy and jet-set. This image of ostentatious wealth contrasts sharply with the Duchess's preference for understated wealth. It's a preference that reflects not only personal values, but also a broader societal shift. In the face of growing global inequality, there's a certain appeal to the notion of wealth that is less about flaunting and more about responsibility and humility. This changing ethos is not lost on the royal couple. In their deliberations for Prince George's education, they're considering more than just academic excellence. They're looking for an environment that nurtures modesty and groundedness, values that are increasingly seen as important in the modern world. Yet, Marlborough College is not without its merits. It's a place where scholars and leaders have been forged, where connections are made and where traditions are upheld. It's a testament to its enduring appeal that despite these concerns, it remains a strong contender in their decision-making process. While Marlborough's reputation has its advantages. Concerns about it being too ostentatious have surfaced, leading to a reconsideration of options. As we continue this discussion, we'll explore another potential choice for Prince George, Oundle School, a co-educational institution known for its emphasis on developing decent, open-minded, and ambitious adults. In contrast to Marlborough, Oundle School is known for developing decent, open-minded, and ambitious adults without arrogance. This quaint establishment, nestled in the heart of Northamptonshire, England, has carved out a reputation for itself that's quite distinct from its flashier counterparts. Oundle School is a beacon of character building, instilling in its students the values of humility, ambition, and open-mindedness. The school's ethos is rooted in the belief that personal growth extends beyond the classroom and into the realms of social interaction, community involvement, and personal introspection. It's a place where students are encouraged to explore their potential, to push their boundaries, and to become well-rounded individuals. The shift in preference from Marlborough to Oundle reflects a new dimension in the royal family's education selection criteria. It's no longer just about prestige and tradition, but also about creating an environment that fosters personal development and humility. The royal couple's consideration of Oundle School underlines their desire for their children to grow up, understanding the value of hard work, the importance of staying grounded, and the benefits of having an open mind. It seems that the Duke and Duchess are keen to strike a balance between heritage and adaptability in their children's education. They are looking for an institution that can provide quality education without the ostentation typically associated with prestigious schools. Andal's emphasis on humility and ambition strikes a chord with the modern royal's desire for a balanced upbringing, revealing a potential shift in royal preferences. As the deliberation continues, 
it's clear that royal decision-making is an intricate dance between tradition and modernity. Throughout our discussion, we've weighed the pros and cons of Marlborough College and Oundle School. We've seen how Marlborough, despite its deep ties to the Duchess's family and its reputation for quality education, has been criticized for its perceived ostentation. On the other hand, we've explored the appeal of Oundel School, an institution that promotes the development of open-minded, ambitious, and decent adults without arrogance. A stark contrast to the flashy image associated with Marlborough. This ongoing debate is a reflection of broader societal views on wealth, education, and upbringing, particularly within the context of British aristocracy and royalty. It underscores the nuanced balance between heritage and adaptability, and the changing dynamics of social status. In the end, whether it's Marlbura, Undel, or another institution, the choice will not only shape Prince George's future, but also signal the evolving values and preferences of the modern royal family.